Well, it's that time. What time? It's time for leaving. Yep, we're leaving Thermopolis. And we're going um, to Baja, right? Baja? Yeah. Didn't we discuss this already? I, aren't we going to Montana? Ba Baja. Baja. Because you told me it wasn't the Bahamas last time we did this. It was Baja. Well, yeah, I mean, eventually we'll make it to Baja, but we're going to go north to Montana we're go first. North to Montana. North to Montana. Yeah. What if we break down in Montana? <laughs> we better not. We better not. It's getting cold. <laughs> yeah, that would not be fun. <laughs> so we're loading up today. We're going to get on the road tomorrow and we're going to head to Montana. We're going to go up and touch the Canadian border. We can't go through the Canadian border because... Yeah, it's another long story. Yeah, we got lots of long <laughs> stories. Yeah, so should we say it? Well, one of us has a passport and the other one doesn't. Yep. <laughs> and since the last time we were crossing through Canada, we got in trouble for you not having a passport on you. Maybe we should probably avoid Canada this time. We got in trouble because I didn't have a passport Yeah, on I remember you were an undocumented citizen. Oh gosh, that's right. When we were in Hyder. Yep, and apparently I, I crossed the border in Hyder. Did we ever tell the story on no, camera? No, we didn't tell the story. Yeah, I was walking, I was taking pictures because Hyder is a school little ghost town and apparently crossed a, the border and an alarm went off. Never heard an alarm. They were blaring sirens apparently and no, yelling and screaming at us. And so when we went to leave Alaska and go back into Canada, man, they were reading us the riot act. So anyway, <laughs> we're not really certain we can get into Canada anymore. So maybe it's better off this way. <laughs> we are going to drive up to Montana, spend some time in Glacier National Park, go up to the Canadian border and we're gonna go border to border show you how to go um, from Alaska to Argentina, crossing this part from Canada down to Mexico. Yep. It's a gorgeous path. Uh, as you drop down through Canada, you'll come through Banff and Jasper and all the gorgeous national parks in the Canadian Rockies. And then you'll drop down right to where we're going to connect and we'll be leading you out right on through Glacier, the United right? States. Yep. Right on through the United States down to the Mexican border. And then of course we get there, we'll show you how that works yeah, too. Yeah, we'll document it all. So. Throw up a few blog posts on it, some good videos. So there's a great way to drive through the United States and a lot of people do it just straight on the Western coast from Seattle, straight on down to San Diego. We're gonna show you an alternative route that we think is definitely worth your time because of the spectacular beauty that we're going to see along and the way. And some very good national parks. Some too. amazing national yeah. parks. There's 10 of them that you can hit from top to bottom or bottom to top. If you're going from uh, Mexico to Canada, you can hit them in the reverse order of what we're doing. But beautiful national parks, bunch of state parks, beautiful land. We're looking forward to driving through, having a great time. And we'll be showing you how it all works and where you should stop and some of the things you should do along the way. So I guess we got to load the camper. Yep, gotta load the camper up. almost eight o'clock. You're still in bed? I was about to get up. I didn't know you had the camera. What day is it? Today is Thursday. No, what day is it? What day is it? It's the day that we're leaving Thermopolis. Today is leaving day. It's one of the best days of the year. <laughs> yep. Today is leaving day. Still have a bit to do, but we're gonna be getting it done and then we're gonna be leaving. Get out of bed, you bum. I am, as soon as you turn that thing off. Okay. So we're in the truck. Truck's running. We're all packed up. Which means if the truck's running, we're all packed up. What are we doing? Getting on the road. We're leaving. leaving. Yep. So, my routine every morning, wherever we are, right down the mileage, so it's been five months, just over five months since we last drove this on the road. So 
today. We're starting out with 477,927 miles. Over here is where we end up. We don't know where that will be yet. So the plan is gonna be for us to start out of Thermopolis, head up to... Montana. Matitsi. Oh, Matitsi, yeah, we're doing Matitsi. Yeah, we're gonna stop That's at Matitsi, right. go get some chocolate. Yes. And then we're gonna head up to Cody, go to Walmart. Yep. I've been to Walmart to forever, up. gotta stock up. And then from there, we're gonna just keep wandering north and uh, who knows where we're gonna get, where yep. we're gonna stay. Who knows anything else about the day? That's the way we do it. Is that kind of being poetic? <laughs> I'm a poet. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. Dog, you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Made it to Matiti. What's in Matiti? Chocolate. 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 So last time we were here, they didn't like us taking the camera in, so we're not gonna take the camera. But we'll cut to. Yeah, they no. weren't bad. I guess I'm, you're right. I'm not taking the camera in. That okay. lady. That lady was gonna eat my face. <laughs> she was awesome though. So we're gonna we're gonna show you what it looks like in there. We're gonna cut to some of the old footage that we have, and uh, and show you the delicious chocolate. And then, uh, of course, do the tour once we get the chocolate and bring it into the truck. We will unwrap and enjoy on camera. So that's get what to watch us eat chocolate. You're going to get to watch us eat chocolate. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to go get out now, go stretch our legs for a little bit. It's only been about 45 minutes on the road. Yep. So a good way to break this up. Matiti's almost halfway to Cody. So we're going to get another break in about 45 minutes, an hour on the road again. And then God knows where. Yep. So we'll end up somewhere. Slow and steady wins the race. Are we, are we racing? No race, no. Slow no. and slow and steady wins the wander. There you go. I like that. Slow and steady wins the wander. All right, we're gonna get some chocolate. We got our five truffles. Truffles. And since we put you through watching us open up the kayak and the beach blanket and all that stuff, we're gonna put you through watching us open up the chocolate. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. There's two in here. Do we know what's what? Nope. We don't know what's what? I don't know. I remember what. That's the whiskey. Okay. I don't know what that is. The raspberry's got like powdered sugar on it. it smells like chocolate. These two look the same. I think that's the jalapeno. These two are peanut butter. This is we got jalapeno? Yeah. So I'm glad you didn't. Is it spicy? I don't taste it. So pretty. So these are all organic. This place is amazing. They're all organic. Organic ingredients. Organic chocolate. Mm. He is the chocolatier is an ex bull rider ex cowboy that decided to make chocolate i think from mm. like his grandma's recipe that was a good decision <laughs> and he picks like he'll pick a lot of local ingredients to put in this like he'll go and pick like his own sage and different plants and stuff to put in there is it spicy no it's delicious <laughs> and um yeah they're so good we've been a couple of times mm here to the chocolatier and I've been dying to go and finally after five months of being within 45 minutes of this place I get to go it's worth it because for four months all we had were bicycles too so. far to bike that one's mine I get the whiskey one you want a peanut butter I don't know if I want to eat them all right now I'm gonna eat a peanut butter 
I'm mm. gonna cut all that. You look like a doofus. You look like a doofus. Oh, this is good. The peanut butter one's good. I expect it to be more peanut buttery inside, but it's like peanut buttery chocolate. Mm. Saving those two. Yep. Mm -hmm. If you're ever in the area, Matitsi, M E E T E E M E E T E E S E S E. It's like yeah. Mississippi, but with a bunch of E's and T's. And no, that's too many E's and T's. M E E T E E T S E E. Oh, there's another T. Yeah, there's no Mati Mati C. Yeah, M E E T E E T S E. P P I. Something like that. Funny name town. This is awesome. Okay, you ready to get on the road again? Yep. Time to get back on the road. Let's go. Chocolate break is over. Mm. Next stop, Cody. Walmart. Hey, hang on there. Hang on there. We're at Walmart. Mm -hmm. Most people speak very poorly about Walmart. But when you live in the small town of Thermopolis for five months, Walmart. Or you don't have a Walmart and no where Walmart. groceries are absurdly expensive. Absurdly expensive. Walmart's awesome. So, Lindsay's going to go get a head start in Walmart. I forgot that uh, I disconnected our solar power uh, from our controller. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hook that up while she gets started on the grocery shopping. And then uh, I'll meet you in there. Okay. Wally World. Sounds good. What you got there? All of our groceries. Glorious. And the great thing about living in a truck camper is I don't... <laughs> know how to step anymore? Yeah. I only have to carry my groceries two feet. Yeah, but where the heck are we going to put them all? Yeah, I got to make them fit. So we made it into the Bighorn Canyon wilderness area. We were looking for some wild horses and that's what we found. Lindsay and her wild horses. So the bay one, the dark brown one up at the top is the stallion. Wild, wild horses. Couldn't drag me away. Get a copyright infringement for that. There you have it, the wild horses of the Bighorn Canyon. Next up is finding a campground. We're gonna try to camp where uh, we'll be close to Bighorn sheep. So maybe we'll get to see some sheep. Maybe we'll hear some sheep while we're sleeping. Who knows? But uh, that's our next stop after Lindsay gets done with the horses, which honestly could be like seven hours. It could be midnight before we leave because she likes horses, even though they're walking away from her. So I'm going to go sit with the dog in the truck while she does her thing.
Well, the wind's pretty bad here, but uh, we found our campsite and uh, it's got a pretty awesome view. <laughs> got a little lightning storm going on for us. There's some rain around, so we really quickly we just had to level the right side. Now we're gonna get set up for the night. Got the keys? Yeah. Lindsay's gonna go fire out the fridge. Since we got groceries now. Lindsay's gonna blow me off the stick. It's gonna get the door. So we're settled in, <laughs> baking up some waffles. Really quick, it's my toaster. <laughs> Setting up shop. About to call it a night. We're gonna do some uh, work, some photo editing. Yep. Or we're, what do you call it? I guess we're emptying our cards. Yeah, dumping our cards. So, I'm gonna do that. Taking a digital dump. A digital dump. There's an awesome lightning storm going on outside. Eddie's eating dinner. Maybe we can catch the lightning on camera. Did you see that? Clouds lit up. Oh, oh I got it. That's so cool. It's fun to watch. This place is a mess. But we're back on the road. It feels good. Yeah, it's awesome. We I was just anxious for the first hour. Eventually get things settled. I'm gonna burn my waffle. I'm on the camera and I'm not. Okay, well, call it a night. Good first day? Mm -hmm. Good first day on the road? Good first day. Good first day. Yep. Okay. Good night. Good night. Hey. I almost forgot. If you like this video, please make sure to comment, like, share, and if you're not already, please subscribe to our channel. We'll be releasing videos every week uh, on our travels. Season 1.5 is what we're calling this series. So uh, it's the in-between series before we get to Mexico, but after leaving Alaska. So if you would continue to follow along with us, season 1.5 as we go from the Canadian border all the way down to the Mexican border. We will see you next time. Lindsay's giving me the thumbs up. That means I rocked it. Good job. I hope I'm looking at the camera. Good job. Oh crap. I was looking at your butt the whole time. <laughs> Whose butt? Hopefully my butt. Who else's butt? The dog's butt? <laughs> I was looking at the dog's butt. <laughs>